All right, back in 1998, a pediatric nurse working in the surgical unit of St. Luke's Children's Hospital had an idea. She had seen enough kids come into her unit looking scared and needing comfort. And in a sterile setting like pre or post surgery, that comfort couldn't come from just anywhere, but it could come from a teddy bear made especially for them by a group of women who meet every Wednesday, every week. <laughs> in a meeting room at Boise's Dick Early Senior Center, you'll find... Hi, Jeannie. Well, seniors. Love your hair. But this... Good morning, Jamis. Isn't your normal... How are you? ...senior sewing circle. It's the teddy bear factory. <laughs> Original. Since 1998, some version of this group of gals has come together once a week. We have stuffers, we have sewers. You got my stuffer? With one task in hand. We are uh, making teddy bears for the children. Children who are heading into surgery or on the scary end of some other procedure at St. Luke's Children's Hospital. You know what, they can't take their own toys. And this just kind of gives them a little thing to hang on to. A little thing to hang on to. He's there huggable and soft. Can also be used to describe this group. I don't know who benefits more, the children or we do, <laughs> because of the camaraderie, because of the kind of group therapy we share and one another's <laughs> happinesses and sadnesses. And they celebrate each other's milestones. And Iris just had a birthday last week. Hey, she I'm had her Christmas sweater on last I mean, yesterday. You know. Like a family. And so it's, it's really good for all of us. That always welcomes new members. Chris is a fairly newcomer. Granted, newcomer <laughs> <laughs> takes on a new meaning ah, good one. here. I love, love, love what we're doing. But some of these ladies, like 81-year-old Jan Cundiff, But I love, love, love the ladies. have been doing this for more than a decade. You know, the time's gone so fast, I, I didn't realize that. <laughs> I found a home. Not even a paralyzed vocal cord. I'm so quiet. <laughs> could keep Jan from coming every week. Somebody doesn't show up. Where are they at? How come they're not here? Who's missing today? Some days when nearly a dozen do show up. Grace and Beatrice. Between the batting. And we go through a lot. And the banter. They probably sanded it too, don't you think? They can build dozens of bears. He's got a nice face. Which add up to. 45,686. Quite a bit over the years. Since 1998. Which has meant a lot. It's a lot of bears. To a lot of kids. It's interesting yeah. because we've had people stop in and say, oh, our, our daughter has one of those got so many years ago. And that's fun to hear. And that's why the teddy bear factory keeps stuffing and sewing and won't likely stop. Oh, sure, we got a whole tub full there. <laughs> We can be busy forever. <laughs> Many hands make light work. And they seem to love them. No matter how old those hands may be. We have a good time together. <laughs> those ladies are there every Wednesday from 9 to 11 in the morning. 45,000 bears they've done so far. So how do they pay for, the all, for all of those? Well, the group told us St. Luke's kicks them a couple hundred dollars each year, but mostly it comes from donations, either materials like the batting or the flannel, but they'll gladly take money as well. Jan, who showed up with the stuffing, said she just recently bought six 20-pound boxes of that stuffing for $386. So they go through a lot of it, about 10 pounds a week. And if you'd like to donate, they ask you to drop off materials or even a check made out to the Teddy Bear Factory at the Dick Erdley Senior Center by Fort Boise.